Hey guys, today in the shop I got a quick one for you. We're going to be installing a new Ficum in the truck with Bless Performance Ficum Tuning. Stay tuned. So before we put the shop truck away for the winter, really wanted to try to work on optimizing some of the tuning. And one of the ways you can go about that is uh, Ficum tuning. So my Ficum is probably the original one of the truck. If not, it's pretty old. We'll find out once I get it out. We can look at the build date on it. But um, we figured go with a brand new Ficum or remanufacture it to say this one's remanufactured by Alliant Power. Alliant Power makes great products, great remanufacturing process. And I've had very good luck with these things. But I got this from Blessed Performance and it's preloaded with their tunes. So you give them the information you want and this thing is plug and play. Take your old one out, put the new one in, no programming needed, no nothing. It comes all set, ready to go. Um, the advantages of that are no downtime. You don't need any extra devices. Uh, it is possible to do Ficum tuning on a Ficum that's already in your truck. You just need uh, a device. Sometimes you can rent them, sometimes you can buy them. And... Um, you know, that works, but obviously, if you're already replacing your Ficum anyway, this is the way to go. Now, the benefit to Ficum tuning is it works in conjunction with your regular ECM and TCM tuning. So, Casey Turbos actually did a really great video on Ficum tuning, but the long and short of it is when you tune an ECM on a 6 liter, you can't actually adjust injector pulse width. The injector pulse width is all done right here in this guy. And um, basically how the tuners adjust pulse width to make your truck have more power and all that on an ECM tune is they trick your ICP. And based on ICP, your ECM is still going to try to get a certain injection event. So it'll increase or decrease your pulse width to, uh, to try to make up for a lack of ICP. So when you use Ficum tuning, you can actually adjust your pulse width. Now, this works best in conjunction with ECM tuning. Now, that being said, you don't want to just go out there and get the biggest Ficum tune you possibly can. Um, you know, 100 horse tune, slap it in there. It, it just won't jive very good with ECM tuning. What can happen is it can actually put your pulse width out of its, uh, its most efficient range. So, the best bet is to call up Blessed Performance, call up your tuner, make sure that you're matching your Ficum tune to your ECM and your TCM tuning, and that's how you're gonna optimize your, your overall package and get it to really run the best. Um, we're going with right around a, a 40 horsepower Ficum tune. It could gain more than that, could gain less than that, but based on my combination, it's probably gonna pick up a little bit more than that just by putting this Ficum in, and uh, it may take care of a few of the little drivability issues that come along with a compound setup like this with no mass air and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're gonna put this in, see how it goes, and uh, I'm going to let you know. So without getting crazy into detail on Ficum replacement, uh, I basically like to, if you have your intake, unlike mine with the compound kit, I like to get the intake out of the way. And then you don't necessarily need to, but I found it a lot easier to get your degas bottle out of the way. Just make sure you're real careful with that plastic Y at the bottom of the uh, heater hose there. If you're going to leave it connected and not drain your coolant, they're pretty easy to snap as they get old and brittle. Once the degas bottle's out of the way, all you gotta do is unbolt your Ficum. Then lift it up and unplug it. All right, so this one's not as old as I thought it was going to be. This one looks like it was remanufactured in June of 2009, and it's a international remanufactured, so it's like an OEM one. Um, biggest thing you want to make sure, if you have like an early build 03, or you know the one that has the aluminum Ficum bracket, some of the early 04s I believe have it as well, make sure you swap these bushings over, take them out before you put this core back in the box and ship it out, because I have seen that. Guys will take it out, 
they'll ship this thing back and then you know a little while later on they go to put the other one in and realize they lost these bushings and these things are a little bit hard to come by so make sure you swap these things over installation is the reverser removal just make sure you get the connectors seated really good give them a tug to make sure they're not coming back out all that's left is fire it up and take it for a ride so initial reaction is it definitely runs a lot crisper if that makes any sense so throttle response is more snappy and uh, seems to seems just overall through the RPM range be just a better running truck which is expected but I didn't expect it to run as good as it does to be honest with you it uh I had a little issue with rev hang and um, that's just about gone and I had a little dead spot if I really stepped on it hard before the boost came in like a lag type issue but it was a little bit more than that and now it's gone it's a whole lot more fun to drive So overall, super impressed with the way this truck runs now with this Fickham tuning. Uh, we almost completely eliminated some of the rev hang it had, which is a big problem with stick shift trucks, especially when you start getting with big injectors and turbos and all that kind of stuff. It's still a little bit there, but that's kind of the nature of the beast when you're playing with these things. Um, throttle response and the snappiness of the way this truck runs, big, big difference, which once again, with the manual transmission, you don't have that converter slip to kind of help you get on top of it. So any of the little bit that you can do to increase that snappiness is huge pretty quick job i mean you should be able to do this in less than 45 minutes in your driveway even if you're taking your time and you're drinking a few beers maybe an hour it's a very simple job um so overall it's to me one of the best bang for the buck things you can do on your truck um i'm gonna leave some links below to the blessed performance website uh specifically to the ficum tuning section i highly suggest you reach out to them and kind of tell them your setup, what you got going on, so they can get the Ficum tuning dialed into the ECM and TCM tune you already have, the injectors, the turbo, all that kind of stuff, because you don't want to just keep stacking tunes on top of tunes without kind of going through all the details. So I'm going to leave that below. Um, didn't really make a whole lot of videos this summer, kind of got tied up with some stuff, just put a ton of miles on this. Uh, I think I drove it around 5,000 miles over the course of the summer, which is a lot for me because I only live about maybe five minutes from where I work. So um, for me to put 5,000 miles on a vehicle is a lot. Hit a couple of car shows, did a few fun things, and uh, I'm just getting ready to get back into the winter build season and get some stuff done on this. I have a few things in mind for it, and uh, we'll kind of see where that goes. Aside from that, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and um, hope to see you soon. As always, thanks for watching In the Shop.